Welcome to the Alamany High School Podcast. This is episode 49. I'm your host, Natalia Viner, here today with my co-host, Angelo DeVito. What is up? We have a busy week coming up. We have Senior Awards Thursday night. Baseball also plays Ayala in the quarterfinals of Division II playoffs Friday. And also, we have track at Masters at El Camino College this Saturday. And that brings us today to our first guest, Sophia Grant. I understand that you and a few other of your teammates have made it to the Masters in CIF, right? Yes. So how long has that journey been going on? How long have you guys been preparing for this? Um, majority of my teammates have been running since September, but since I also do soccer, I started early in February. Holy moly. Dang. Okay. So a lot of preparation. Um, what can you give us about, like, a little insight about your training techniques that you guys do to prepare? Um... Usually, in the beginning of the season, we run more long distance, so we'll run more 400s, and towards the end of the season, we work more on speed, to, um, we, so we match endurance with speed at, towards the end of the season. So, for those that aren't really familiar with like track terms, what's a 400? A 400 is one lap around the track. Oh, okay. Not too bad. And what's the normal time to run that in? Um, for girls, anywhere between a minute and 54 seconds, but most people run it about 58, 57. Seconds? Yes. But, um, for the 4x4, four four, my, we usually split faster, so I run like a 57, and then some other people run 56 and 55. Um, you said you run the 4x4? Four four? Yes. And do you do any other events? Yes, I also do the 4x1, the 200, and the 400. And what event did you qualify for for Masters? The 4x4. Four four. Okay. Now, me just being curious, I mean, I obviously just heard that you mentioned what a 400 is. What is the 4x4, four four actually? The 4x4 four four is where four people um, each run a 400. So one person will run a lap, and then they pass off the baton to the next and continues on f- through four people. So it's a, in total a 1,600-meter race. Oh, so they're actually doing a full lap for each person? Yes. Oh, wow. So who's um, who runs that with you? Our first leg is Ariana Rodriguez, our second leg is Brianna Johnson, third leg is me, and our anchor is Dejanae Jackson. Oh, that's cool. So how do you guys, like, determine who runs that race? Um, Our coach picks the top fastest um, to run continuing season, but throughout season, he shuffles it around, so that way people don't have to run too many events during a meet. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. So, I understand you're a sophomore this year. What grade are your other teammates in? Ariana is a freshman, Brianna is a senior, I'm a sophomore, and DJ is a junior. Oh, so you got all four grade levels on this. That's pretty cool. So is this going to be your first time at CIF or Masters? Yes, it is. That's exciting. Yeah. Are you guys excited? Yeah, we're really excited. A little (laughs) nervous, but yeah, we're excited. What are your expectations for the outcome of this? Our goal is to make it to state, so we either have to get in the top six um, or run the hard mark of 350.46. So, not trying to jinx anything or anything, but if you guys do make it to state, and I don't think I have a doubt that you guys won't, um, when would that be, actually? Um, state would starts on next week on Friday, so the last day of school, so... We'll be leaving on Thursday, actually, after school and miss Friday. And then we run on uh, prelims are on Friday, and then finals would be on Saturday. Oh, so you guys actually continue after school is already done? Yes. Jeez. I wish you guys the best of luck at Masters. Hope you guys actually do well. Make it to stay. I don't think you guys will have a problem doing that. I've seen you guys race. You guys are phenomenal. Uh, Good luck this Saturday. If anyone could go out to support, I know they'd really appreciate it. Um... Masters is a big deal for you guys that don't understand what it is. And then in order to beat this, to go to state, that's huge for you guys, especially having all four grade levels. I mean, I'll be looking forward to it. Oh, yeah, definitely. Me too. I'm super excited for you guys. Well, good luck, Sophia. Uh, The rest of the team, good luck. Do well. Be safe, especially. And we'll catch you afterwards. Thank you. Hi, I'm Zoe Alvarez. I'm on ASB in yearbook, and you're listening to the Almany High School Podcast. Welcome back to the podcast. Things are going to be a little different for this segment right here. Uh, normally, Natalia would be my co-host for this one, but because she is old top four, I'm going to be single hosting this segment. And on the topic of old top four, I'd like to bring in your ASB members, Ashley Solar, Bianca Rivera, Sean Vlader, and Natalia Viner. 
Hi, everyone. Hey, hey guys. Hello. So, guys, how was ASB Top 4 this year? Um, Top 4 this year was great. Like, I feel like our year was extremely successful from two of the most profiting dances in the past few years, like, two of the most attended dances. Um, our Lua was a huge success this year. Homecoming was amazing. Spirit Week was unbelievable. We even, if you get the teachers to dress up, I'd say our Homecoming Week was pretty successful. And then kind of going off of what Ashley said, um, I think like our ASB this year worked really well together. We all meshed and like we got stuff done. So it was a really successful year for us. Yeah, I think we were very successful, especially with the pep rallies. I mean, there's been so much just like happiness and joy and everyone being spreading, you know, pep. It was amazing. Yeah, I think we did a good job bringing back um, like the school spirit because I know my four years here, it was really hard, like finding the school spirit. So I think we definitely did that with the pep rallies and um, spirit week and like the football games. It was just a really good year. And I am happy that the seniors got the spirit stick. That's all I can say. (laughs) Uh, That's still debated. Okay, whatever. (laughs) All right, all right. So how do you guys feel like you compare to other past top four officers? Um, Well, I think every year it's different because obviously each member of top four has different ideas. But, I mean, I think we all do an amazing job and every year is successful. So I can't, I don't think we compare. Okay. So looking back on this year, is there one event or game or pep rally that stands out to any of you guys? Homecoming. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Undoubtedly Spirit Week and Homecoming. I'm all for Homecoming. I had to fight so hard for the Roaring Twenties, so I'm Homecoming. <laughs> so Homecoming seems to be a very positive outlook from all four of you. What would be like the highlight of that week? Just Spirit Week, I think. We oh, got definitely. so much involvement. Like, it was crazy. I think the highlight was seeing everything that we accomplished and everything being put together and seeing all the final touches. And one of the best things, in my opinion, was the amount of participation we had in Spirit Weeks. We had such unique ideas this year that it brought out kids that typically wouldn't dress up, that we don't have your generic camo day or tours day. We we came up with something new this year that even the teachers wanted to get involved in, like something that... Something fun, something different. Yeah, something that everyone can relate to and be like, oh, this is cool, let's do this, let's match together and i completely forgot to ask you what are your guys's positions on top four um i'm ashley and i'm your asb president uh, i'm bianca and i'm your asb vice president i'm natalia and i'm asb secretary i'm sean and i'm your asb treasurer so how do you guys divvy up the responsibilities and tasks between all four of you um well when we're planning events or like a rally or whatever we split up into committees so it's like each one of us or two of us we team up and like we either do games or we do decorations or we do posters and like that's kind of how we kind of distribute everything so we all like do our part we'll pretty much oversee our committees and then we have our commissioners who help and come and bring us our ideas and then we all group back together and say this is what we want to do this is what we have in mind these are other options and we all kind of we go into committees to figure out what we want for particulars but then we all end up coming back together and deciding this is the final set for this this is the final program for this and we all pretty much have a a role in each area of planning events and such like that yeah without our commissioners honestly we would like it they help us so much so so it's a big team (laughs) okay so question so i mean obviously i play water polo and being an athlete senior night's a big deal for us who paints the posters that a lot of these athletes get um, it kind of depends, like, for rallies and stuff, we have our artists, like, we have Angela and, like, Hannah and all those artists, and then senior night, it kind of just, I mean, I do a lot, Bianca, Ashley does a lot, and so do a lot of the other ones, so it just depends on, like, who has time to pop into ASB and knock them out really quick. I would just like to point out that I cannot paint posters, and so that's why I do not paint posters. <laughs> yeah, Sean, I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you're surrounded by three other girls on yeah, top four. exactly. But hey. You're still doing a good job. Yeah, Appreciate thank it. Thank you. Thank you. And speaking of Sean, I understand you're in the next top four batch for the 2018-2019 school year. Yes, I am the uh, new ASB president. Woo woo. <laughs> but I'll always be number one. Oh. <laughs> we'll let her think that. <laughs> okay, okay. JK, nice. it's out of love. I know you're going to do a phenomenal job next year, and I wish you all the best in the world. Uh, thank you, Ashley. Why don't we bring in 
your team members for the next year's ASB Top 4. Why don't you guys introduce yourselves as the new Top 4 members? All right, hey guys, so I'm back, and it's Sean Blotter as your ASB president. It's Carly Griffith as your ASB vice president. It's Andre Mamo as your ASB secretary. Hi, I'm Kaylin De Silva, and I'm your new ASB treasurer. Welcome to your ASB Top 4, guys. This is going to be interesting. Thank you. Whoop, whoop. Thank you. So, what are your expectations for the 2018-2019 school year? Huge. No, no, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> That's not okay. <laughs> uh, I think, speaking for the four of us, I think it's just that we're trying our best to uh, make all students happy. So to speak, we want to get them involved and, and honestly make a difference here at Alamany. Exactly. It's, it's really something to look forward to. We, uh, we plan to take everybody's uh, opinions into consideration into the new year and make it a successful school year. So what event are you guys looking forward to the most? Like, what's going to be your key event? Um, I'm kind of looking forward to homecoming because I already have a theme idea that I know I want. And I'm not going to say it now, but I'm really excited for it and see if we can pull it off. No spoilers. <laughs> no spoilers. I'm definitely looking forward to the pep rallies as well because the junior or no future seniors are going to have a spirit stick all year long. Hey, Mark our words on it. that. Uh, I think for me, pep rallies are my thing. Uh, so I'm excited for those, but also homecoming because we have a lot of ideas. I got to agree with them. Pep rallies were so much fun this year. I mean, I took a step back from ASB, but I worked tech and it was just so much fun watching everyone do every like all their tasks. But outside of pep rallies and homecoming, what other things can you guys help better the school and possibly ASB with? Definitely fundraisers. We already did one fundraiser at the end of this year that raised a lot of money, and so we're going to be able to change a lot of stuff in ASB, redecorate the room, make it look really nice for our incoming class. And so, yeah, that's going to be really nice. Um, I think for me, I'm just honestly trying my best to change the whole face of Alamany, so to speak. Um, there's a lot of things that are, that I've been doing recently that I've been hoping to change. Uh, but I'm excited. It's gonna, it's gonna be a great year. Yeah, just overall, I think we're trying to make the whole school in Alamany a better place, and that's what we're gonna reach and do. Just as a side note, con Andrew, congratulations, by the way, for receiving the <laughs> thank award. You. That's thank you, a thank huge you. honor. Thank you very much. Huge. See, and you know what? That award is a step into exactly. changing the face of Alamany exactly. right there. Progress. Definitely. It's progress. Mm-hmm. We have a celebrity on our, <laughs> on our squad. <laughs> so this is kind of just out of my being the only girl in the room right now because Kaylin had to run early. But I know like this year we had three girls on top four and now we have three boys. So how is that going to work? Switching up the game. <laughs> I know. This is the thing. With, with Sean, Calder, and I. Our three minds think so much alike. Well, that and Kaylin is definitely gonna be there to keep us. Yeah, she's gonna try to keep us sane. I am praying for Kaylin with you three. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think she'll make it through. It'll be hard though. So the four of us are actually really close in person uh, outside of school. So it's just good that we're so close outside of school that we actually are able to make things cooler this year. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. It's gonna flow. I get you. It's yeah. gonna flow. It's gonna be very yeah. cool. How big, no, yeah. Um, how big is the class looking for next year? Um, I, I think about 60. Yeah, that's 60? about our average size. Yeah. Okay. okay. No, we got some really talented people this year. A lot that's of new, cool. Another, yeah, a lot of new recruitments. Yeah. So aside from ASB and, you know, you guys being seniors next year, um, what are you looking forward to the most? Not seeing not you. Not seeing you guys. Definitely not seeing you. That's a little hurtful. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. We, we, we We're going to miss you. Guys. you. <laughs> um, I'm hurt. Real talk. Definitely excited for all like the things we get as being seniors. So you had like senior sunset, senior sunrise. I'm senior definitely privileges. excited for all that. Yeah, you guys better get your privileges like senior pranks. I, I, I never said that, but you know. <laughs> yeah, you guys honestly have a lot to look forward to. I mean, experiencing everything this year. Senior sunrise was definitely uh, a way to kick off the year. It was pretty fun, but closing it off with senior sunset was the best. Mm -hmm. So you guys have a lot to look forward to. So I have a question. I'm usually on the opposite side of the microphone uh, hosting. Now, this question is for Sean and, and Natalia. What advice do you have for Calder and I, and Kaylin as well, uh, new top four? Um, well, definitely number one goal or like thing to follow, I would say, would be communication. So just make sure you guys are constantly communicating, constantly making sure like your commissioners know like what's going on. Keep everybody updated. Keep the school spirit. And just, yeah, I'm, I'm really confident in you guys. So, I mean, you guys you guys are going to do good. Yeah, I know last year we kind of had a tendency sometimes to sideball during our um, meetings. And we just need to really make sure, like she was saying, communicate to everyone. 
Because if we're the only ones that knows what's happening, nothing's going to happen. So, aside from ASB in school and, like, senior year, obviously, is going to be fun. But <laughs> what, like, for those of that people that don't know you guys, can you guys give us a little about yourselves? Fun fact. All right, a little shameless self-promotion right here. Um, I'm the founder, starter, CEO, what you want to call it, of uh, nutapparel.com. It's a custom clothing line. You should definitely go check it out, nutapparel.com. Uh, me, me and my uh, three brothers, we're trick riders outside of school, which is like gymnastics on horses, but you were on America's Got Talent. And so over summer, we're going to be going to a lot of rodeos and stuff like that, so it's going to be cool. Uh, I want to plug something as well. I want to plug the Alameda High School podcast for next year, uh, because one thing's for sure is that next year is going to be crazy. Uh, we got a lot of guests, and uh, some of them being celebrities, we've already talked to a lot of them about this. Um, but also, uh, I'm just looking forward to next year. Like, a lot. It's going to be fun. I'm very excited to see what you guys do. So. Yeah, especially. Just have fun with it, guys. Enjoy your senior year. Thank you, especially for taking the time out to be with us today. We really appreciate it. From both of us, good luck. Enjoy. Have fun. Thank you, Thank you so much. Us. Thanks. Well, that was a very <laughs> um, funny podcast today, but a lot of information was given. Definitely some highlights to look forward to next year. Uh, those of you guys that are going to be seniors on ASB or any ASB members, just enjoy it. Give them support. I mean, just enjoy senior year. It goes by so fast, so definitely make the most of it. I'm Natalia Viner. And I'm Angelo DeVito. And this is your Alameda High School Podcast. Bye.